AMZ Media, bringing the world to you. Coming up today, the new teachers at Ferny Grove State School. Ferny Grove could be heading back to the polling booths again. And Peter Gresta released from an Egyptian jail after 400 days. You're watching live AMZ, AMZ News. News. Hello, I'm Maxwell Dolby. And I'm Zundan J. First off today, the new teachers at Ferny Grove State School. We always have new staff coming into our school and we'd like to name some to show our appreciation. We have Mrs Foster on prep, Miss Green on year two, Mr Tyne on year one, and Mrs Eels on year three. We would like to wish these people the best of time going out of great school. The LNP are looking like a lost cause. Campbell Newman has been voted out of his seat for Ashgrove. And things aren't looking great for the citizens in Fernie Grove as it looks like we'll be heading back to the voting stations again. The reasoning? Palmer United Party candidate Mark Tavener, his 800 odd votes have been questioned to where they would have gone if he had not been allowed to stand. New South Wales, Northern Territory and ACT firefighters will arrive in Western Australia to assist in stopping the raging bushfires in the state south. The fire has burned through almost 80,000 hectares and the Western Australian Premier says that nearly all the state's firefighters are committed to stopping the fire. Peter Grester has been released from an Egyptian jail. Grester is an Australian journalist who was found guilty of helping a Muslim brotherhood and sentenced to seven years in prison. He was flown to Cyprus, a country near Turkey, where he flew back to Brisbane. His colleagues are still in prison. Last week, we had some tragic news about a TransAsia flight crashing to the Keelung River in Taiwan. We know that at least 23 people were killed. Now we want to know, if you had a ticket to anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? To vote, go to the Fernie Grove Library and fill out an application form and put it into the AMZ media box located next to the Gotcha's boxes. On to you, Alex. Thank you, Max. Okay, now on to the weather. Fernie Grove is having a possible shower today with a maximum of 29 degrees Celsius. Brisbane, a possible shower with a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. Sydney, on the other hand, has a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius, possible shower. Canberra today, it's going to be partly cloudy with 25 degrees Celsius max. Melbourne, it's going to be a sunny day for them as it is being 27 degrees Celsius max. So, 32 degrees Celsius for Perth, mainly because of the bushfires in the state south. Hobart, mostly sunny with a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. Darwin, a possible storm with a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius. And Adelaide, it's a sunny day for them for a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius. Now to Max with the sports. Thank you, Alex. Now we're into sport. In the Australian Open, Novak Djokovic has beaten Andy Murray in four sets. He's now won his fifth Australian Open. New Zealand have won the Rugby Union World 7 Series late in New Zealand. They beat England 27 to 21 and were cruising throughout the whole match despite two late tries from the English. And lastly, a big upset in the La Liga. Atletico Madrid have beaten Real Madrid 4-0. Real Madrid's coach has labelled his side's performance the worst in his career as coach. Now remember to vote on your opinion about where would you go and why. And you might get the chance to be in our news next week. Thank you for watching AMZ News. See you next week. AMZ Media, bringing the world to you.